At the Vatican today, Pope Francis delivered his first Christmas message, offering prayers for an end to wars in the Middle East and in Africa. The Pope also invited atheists and people of other faiths to join his quest for peace. Over the years, popes have delivered Christmas greetings in dozens of languages, but today, Francis stuck to Italian, which is fitting for a pope determined to break with tradition. More on that now from Alan Pizzi. Christmas at the Vatican is full of color, pomp, and circumstance. Pope Francis would probably have preferred to hold it in a stable. In a recent speech, Francis pointed out that Mary and Joseph were homeless when Jesus was born and made a plea to do everything possible to assure that every family has a place to live. Francis never misses a chance to hammer home his new mission for a church that places the poor at its center. In his first Christmas message to Vatican clerics, who are known for backbiting and power struggles, he called for professionalism and a devotion to service, and urged them to reject what he called an unwritten law of our surroundings, which unfortunately is that of gossip. Not everyone in the Vatican is happy with the poor church for the poor, but they are in a minority, according to Archbishop Vincenzo Paglia. The strength of his witness is really most strong than the every opposition. So the people who are against him, are they don't have any chance? Absolutely no. Pope Francis is basically as conservative as his predecessors, but he has made some startling moves, including swapping an arch-conservative cardinal for the moderate cardinal Donald Wuerl of Washington to head the Vatican's powerful congregation of bishops. According to one survey, his common touch, dubbed the Francis Effect, has significantly increased church attendance in Europe. And it's not just lapsed Catholics who are drawn to him. Senior diplomats accredited to the Vatican report an unprecedented flood of requests ranging from mayors to politicians and even heads of state, all wanting to see, and above all, to be seen with Francis. On the evidence so far, however, the high and the mighty would do well to bear in mind that the humble shepherds were welcomed into the manger before the three wise men bearing expensive gifts. Alan Pizzi, CBS News, Vatican City.